I'll just answer questions the old fashioned way, you know? Whatever. Um, today has been crazy, but also at the same time, not crazy. Does that make sense? <laughs> no. Like, I had to wake up early because Digital Love came out on Radio Disney. It's now not out yet. Like, well, it's not out yet to, like, other platforms. It's, like, out on Radio Disney first, and then it's going to be out soon. But I'll let you know when. But, like, if you listen to Radio Disney, you'll be able to hear it. But, um, yeah, so I had to do a bunch of stuff for Digital Love. And then I had some interviews. So it's just been a crazy day. And I still have more. So. Um, yeah. Which is good. I'm excited. I hope you guys like Digital Love if you've heard it already. It's just like a fun dance song. So, yeah. Ready? No. Oh. Well, so yeah, if you guys have any questions for me, that'd be awesome. I, I wish I could answer the questions like Q&A style, but it doesn't work for me for some reason. So what you going to do? You got a tattoo last night? Like a real tattoo? Or like, like a fake one? Let me know. But yeah, feel free to ask some questionies. If you feel like it. Because that's what I'm here for. I gave you my all. It was my dog. I don't know what I'm falling on. It's your fifth one. Wow. That's incredible. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Where do I get my clothes? Well, good question. I usually shop, there's like an urban near me, so like I'll just go to the Urban Outfitters, like free people just for random like shirts or whatever. Um, I usually shop at like vintage stores mostly. Like, um, well this shirt is actually from 24 carats is like this Japanese company. Um, so I don't know if they sell it in the States, but I'm sure if you look up 24 carats, you know, like the Bruno Mars song, like you could buy stuff like this. This is like one of my favorite shirts. It's so dope. Um, and it says 24 carats. Um, I used to shop at like vintage stores. Um, in LA here, there's a place called Melrose and they basically just have a bunch of vintage stores and then also like hype stores. Don't want to admit it, but, like, I do shop in those. Like, usually don't buy anything, but, like, um, I have, like, a few accessories like that just to, you know, trust. Um, but, yeah, just, like, any, oh, and then every Sunday, like, today, there's, like, a thing called Melrose Trading Post, which, like, everyone goes to on Sundays if they're available, and they, um, they, Wait, is today Sunday? No, today's Saturday. Whoa, I just had the craziest, like... Wow, okay, no. So today's not Sunday, but every Sunday... I just thought it was Sunday for a quick second. Um, they have a thing called Melrose Trading Post, and, like, it's, like, a big trading post where people, like, sell all their stuff. Um, yeah, so I usually go to that, too. There's also this place called Wasteland that's, like, a vintage place. It's, like, all, like, um, people, like, send back their, like, clothing and stuff. But there's some really cool stuff. So, yeah. I guess. Um. Konnichiwa. Okay, desu ka? Um. My favorite color is orange. Why? Because it's underrated. And it deserves more cred. I actually like yellow too. Like yellow and orange. Because I feel like people like yellow. But everyone almost always says blue. Which I love blue too. 
I mean, it's there's a lot in my room, but um, like yellow and orange are just underrated and they need more credits. So shout out to orange, shout out to yellow. I'm here for you. <laughs> um, mom, mom, mom. Then, wait, I thought I saw something. Oh, favorite dream destination. Like my holiday dream destination. I went to Hawaii this year and that was pretty sick. Like warm Christmases though is weird because I'm so used to it being like snowing when it's like the winter time. But then when it's sunny, it's like, it's not really Christmas, but it is. So I feel like I would go somewhere warm, like maybe like a beach, but also like going somewhere cold, like, I don't know, like Japan on Christmas is probably sick. But fun fact, in Japan, Christmas is not being about with your family. It's about being with like your loved one. So it's kind of like their Valentine's Day. They also celebrate Valentine's Day too, but it's kind of like Valentine's Day instead of like a family thing. So it's just different. That's cool. My favorite Marvel movie, Cutie. <laughs> Thanks. Um, my, I really want to go to London so bad. And I've been to Barcelona before in Spain, um, but I would love to travel Spain more. That'd be amazing. Barcelona was so much fun. Like I had the best time. I was actually there on 4th of July, which is kind of ironic. Anyway, um, my favorite Marvel movie, the first Avengers probably, because when that came out in 2011, I think I was 10 or 11, that's when I was like obsessed with um, the Avengers and like Marvel and that's when I got into like all the comics and everything. So yeah, oh, oh I love K-pop. Big Bang is my favorite K-pop band. Ohio. I miss you, Isaac. Love you, brother. <laughs> That's the hammer. Hopefully I can come out to Maui soon. That'd be sick. Did I watch Harry Potter? Yes. Actually, I watched Harry Potter recently. Not recently, but like, I haven't seen any of the movies until like, like two years ago, three years ago. And I watched all of them in like one night because my friend was so offended that I've never seen or didn't know anything about Harry Potter that she made me watch like every single movie. So, do I like Emma Watson? I love Emma Watson. She's the best. Favorite school subject? Yes, we're going to rage. <laughs> my favorite school subject was science. I wanted to be a doctor, actually. Well, first I wanted to be a drummer. <laughs> then I wanted to be a doctor. You know, kind of. Hey, Zach. Um, hunting, efficient, and loving every day. <laughs> um, you could still tell my face is really tired by the way when I smile, like it looks weird. Do you know what I mean? Like when you're when you're tired and you smile and you're like, ooh, like, your lips are just like, anyway. Moving on. What was I saying? <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> I forget. Does anyone remember what I was saying? I mean, I can just scroll up, but... Um. Oh, my favorite school subject. I wanted to be a um a, a I wanted to be a doctor. Hi, Prince. Um, I want I wanted to be a doctor or a psychologist. I mean, a psychologist is a form of a doctor, but I wanted to. Like, I was obsessed with like learning about anatomy and like doing surgeries and stuff like that. I was like, that's so cool. Um, cause I just thought it was interesting. 
because I had I always had like anxiety about like health stuff like I never was sick and I never really get sick but I was always still to this day like you know if I get a headache I like freak out or whatever and so I was like just knowing everything that happens in your body just made me feel like at ease at ease um because I'm like oh trust that's what's happening when this happens okay cool and also it helps also when you have like anxiety or any type of panic attacks it helps to like study psych psychology as well like the study of the brain because then when something happens to you and you're like why am I feeling this way then you have a better idea like oh I'm feeling this way because my brain is doing this and this and this and this and it kind of helps just saying like you don't have to take like a yes exactly Isaac yeah so like I don't know you got a better understanding of it when you're like Oh, okay, this is what's happening. Now I, I kind of feel better about myself. If that makes sense. So that's why I wanted to be a doctor. But then I realized that it takes so much school. And it's really a calling. And, like, I was never, like, that passionate about it. But I, it was, I'm still fascinated about it. And I love, like, taking psychology courses and, like, anatomy courses. So I still do that. But it's hard. And also, like... I would be so scared, like, performing a surgery on somebody. Like, that's crazy. Anyway. So now I'm an actor and singer, so... <laughs> yeah. Loving, efficient, and loving every day. That's running, got your boy brain. <sighs> hey... I'll help you with your anatomy. <laughs> Ow. My eyes have been hurting. Excuse me. Um, my eyes have been hurting so much. And I think it's because I'm probably on my phone a lot. Oh, there's Allie. My dog just got spaded. So now she has a little cone over her head. And it's so cute, but at the same time, I feel so bad for her. <laughs> Hunting and fishing and loving every day. <laughs> Can we have that song stuck in my head? It was playing. When I was in Hawaii on Christmas, that song was playing, like, over and over again. And I was like, this song is stuck in my head. Now it's stuck in my head again. Oh, thanks. This is actually leftover eyeshadow from yesterday from work. I, like, took off all of my makeup on my face, but then... I didn't take off my eyes. I didn't even realize I did until I woke up in the morning. I was like, why do I still have my eye eyes on? So I do, but I took off all the makeup because, like, it feels like my skin. Ah, it always feels like my skin is, like, not breathing, you know? My lips are so chapped, but it's okay. Any other questions? Let me know. Ohio. Oh. <laughs> Go in the side. How old am I? I am 18 years old. <laughs> yes, I'll send you a digital hug. There you go. <laughs> but yeah, so if you have any other questions, just let me know and I'll answer them for you. Yeah, yeah.
What was that? I don't know. Why are my eyes hurt? Hey, little TJ, how you doing? Yeah. Oh, I love you too. If you have any questions. Oh, man. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Have I seen the new Spider-Man movie? Yes. The animated one? If so, then yes. It's so good. So good. About Miles Morales. I literally just saw it last weekend. It was long overdue. I can't believe I didn't see it only last weekend. I, I saw it only last weekend because I should have seen it before. But it was so good. Also, last night I saw my friend Reed's movie. My friend Reed's in a movie and it's called Canal Street. Um, it's so good. If you guys haven't seen it, you should check it out. Like, I don't know if you guys watch the show Empire, but one of the guys from Empire is in it. He's like the main guy. And it's so good. It's like about... You just, you just have to watch it. It's so good. It's so good. I don't want to like give anything away. Because like the more, the less you know and like the less you know going into it, the more it's like, whoa. But yeah, Canal Street. I think you guys should watch it. It's like a, such a good message um, for like society today to watch. Especially like the younger generation. So, yeah. Check it out, y'all. Yeah. Spain. I agree. I agree. Whoa, where'd that come from? I don't know. It just happened. I'll do signs of the EP. Well, so the I don't know when my EP is coming out. It's done. I have all the songs ready. It's just a matter of time whether like it comes. Like what, it just, it's a matter of time, like when it's going to come out. I think I'm going to have one more single in May. And then the EP will come out anytime after that. It just depends. So, yeah. If I could travel any in the anywhere in the world right now, where would it be? I always say Japan, but like... I already been there. I already been there. <laughs> Why did I say it like that? I have. There we go. Have already been there. So like I don't want to say Japan because I just want to say something new. I really want to go to Aust. Oh my god, it's a squirrel. Anyway, I really want to go to Australia. Cause that'd be cool um i've always wanted to go there i really want to go i want to travel europe more i want to go to my homeland ireland my people i want to see what it's like there um i really want to go to like england germany mm, norway russia would be sick Brazil would be cool. Let's just travel the world, guys. Let's just, I'm just gonna travel, I'm just gonna go everywhere. How about that? I would love to go to South Korea. Oh, no, I didn't, Zach. I'll check it out after this. Um, India would be sick. I would love to go to India. Um, but yeah, so, yeah. But yeah, no, I love Japan, and being in Japan was so much fun. And it's good practice, too, because, like, when I go to, like, when I go, <laughs> I just had the biggest brain fart in the world. When I 
travel. What did I want to say? What am I trying to say? What I'm trying to say is, is that here in America, even though there are a lot of Japanese people here and there's a lot of like, you know, Japanese places, sushi restaurants, it's still hard to um, practice Japanese because like you need all the help you can get. Um, so like going to Japan was just so much fun because that's literally where it comes from. So you can use it everywhere. <laughs> literally. I mean, obviously, but it's really cool to do that. And that's why I take like Japanese lessons and like tutoring lessons because it really helps just like speaking to people um, and keeping up with it. And I also like keep in. T I think if you guys are learning a new language, no matter what language it is, um, but especially like language is not really used here. Like I feel like if you were learning Spanish, it would be a lot easier because Spanish is used a lot here, um, especially in California. But again, it's still hard, um, you know, and it's really nerve wracking trying to speak to somebody and it, when it's their like native language and you don't know it that well, like if you make a mistake, like it's like always like scary to like make a mistake. But um, it just, you know, you just really have to keep speaking to people because like people will study vocabulary for hours on end they'll watch videos hours on end like they'll have it down pat but then and they know stuff but then it's different when you speak to someone and you have a conversation it's so different than like just knowing stuff in your head because when you speak to people like it's just different because you have to speak in conversation so I think if you're learning a new language, the easiest thing you can do is just try and speak to as many people as possible. And you also learn things from them too. They'll say something and you're like, what did you just say? And they're like, oh, this means this. And you're like, oh, trust, thank you. You just learn so much. And also what you learn in textbooks is not what like people say. Cause if, you know, even people learning English, like in textbook will say, good morning, how are you? Okay, we say that, but <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, to my friend, I'd be like, hey, what's up? Like, how you doing? Blah, blah, blah. But, like, in the textbook, it's like, good evening, sir. How are you? Like, it's very, it's very formal, I guess. So, speaking to people your age who speak the language, you learn so much, like, slang, you know. If someone was speaking English and I was like, yo, what's the tea, sis? They'd be like, excuse me, <laughs> you know? So not, that's just, yeah. Anyway, I hope that helps. Just speak to a lot of people. That's what I try to do. And that's why I love going to Japan because you get to speak it all the time and I get to practice. Yeah. And it's really cool. Like it was really cool being a translator for my parents because like I'm fluent my parents have no idea like anything all I know is like thank you like arigato my dad knows biru because that means beer <laughs> so it was really cool just being like their translator so I don't know just talking you're what's up if I could time travel which time would I go back to hmm I wish I was born in the 70s, like, oh my god, <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's so funny when people say that, they're like, I was just born in the wrong era. I'm like, okay, um, trust. I feel like I would go back, I mean, the 90s is pretty cool. Like, the 90s fashion, like, I would love to, like, rock some, like, low-cut jean skirts with those cowboy boots, with the cowboy boots. Disgusting. Eh. Um, yeah, so maybe 90s. I don't know if I could do 80s. That was like a lot. Like that was a lot with the neon, the spandex, the hair. I don't know. I, I don't know if I could handle that. 70s was pretty cool. It was super chill. But honestly, I don't know if I would want to go back in time because now we've like, we've made so much progress. I feel like if I were to live, if I... Well, if I was there for a day, I guess it wouldn't really, like, matter. But, you know, so many things were different. <laughs> yeah, that is whack. 
that is whack. I would say it'd be cool to like go back to like the 1700s because I, when I was little, I had like an, an, an a fascination with um, the 1700s, but then I realized that women don't didn't have rights then, so probably wouldn't be that great. <laughs> But kind of wanted to see how like George Washington rode around his little horse and people are like churning butter. Um, that would be cool. But yeah, so <laughs> I like be living now. Um, trust. I feel like the 90s would be cool. Like 90s R&B, like living in that era. It'd be sick. Because that's pretty much all I listen to, so. What I eat is my last meal. I had avocado toast this morning. I know I'm basic. Whatever. Don't come at me. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> what are some the best acting tips? Um, hmm. It's a hard question. I feel like everyone... I feel like everyone's just so different because like acting tips like you know you have acting tips for like different material that you're doing like there's no like oh here's a major acting tip um hmm I feel like the best like acting tips like do like oh, what's the best way to like become an actor or like if I want to start acting like what do I do like that type of thing because if so, like, if you want to well, want to be an actor, I feel like you should take acting lessons and acting classes first to see if you're really, really passionate about it. Because in this business, let me tell you, it's really hard. The industry is super small, and there's so many people trying to go out for it. So if you're not really, really passionate about acting, people are going to tell, and people are going to be like, okay she likes acting but she's not passionate about it like she doesn't really want this role you know that type of thing so I feel like you should go to an acting class go to a acting studio take acting lessons and if you really really love doing it then start taking you know classes with like acting directors and like a lot of in this business about connections as well and everyone always says that like oh it's about connections it's like what does that even mean it's just like meeting people and um meeting with casting directors you know it just depends so i don't even know if that was good advice but i tried <laughs> do 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 any tips on how to deal with exam stress um, okay, well, I, I don't want to be a hypocrite because a lot of times in high school and middle school, like, you know, people always like, you have to study like Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, like say your exam's Monday. It's like, you should study Thursday, a little bit Thursday, a little bit Friday, a little bit Saturday, a little bit Sunday, blah, blah, blah. And I'd always be like, yeah, I'm totally going to do that. And then I would just cram all Sunday night. So I don't want to be a hypocrite here, but literally the best advice is for exams is just take your time and study a little bit each day. That's like the best way to study because then your brain's not over fried. And then also a really good tip is right before you go to bed, if you go over, this helped me. So I'm not being a hypocrite here. This helped me a lot. Like if you study um, like an hour before you go to bed, like your brain kind of like um retains the information um and like you're like subconsciously thinking about it when you go to sleep so I think the night before the exam just to go over everything go over everything and in the morning go over everything um and then you should be good and just each day, just take a little bit at a time. Because a lot of things, a lot of times I'd be like, oh, well, like, I want to see my friends on the weekend and I want to hang out. Like, I don't have time to study, but you do. You do. If you wake up in the morning and you study for like 
30 minutes an hour, do your thing, come back, study for a bit, study, come back, you know. But it is hard to focus. Me of all people knows that. So. But you'll do great on your exam. I'm sending you the best luck. <sighs> Thanks, Carla. I love you so much. <laughs> Ohayou gozaimasu, Lina-chan. If you need any advice, let me know. Honestly, I'm not even the best person to be asking advice because, like, a lot of times I give advice. I was talking about this with Peyton <laughs> that, like, if you, a lot of times I'll give advice to like my friends and I'll say it and I'm like, wow, this is actually advice for me. Like I need to take this advice. You, have you ever have, I don't know. That happens to me all the time. I'll give some like great advice and I'm like, wow, I need that. Why am I not listening to my own advice? You know, <laughs> yeah, so just hey, Skylar, I miss you too. So yeah, if you guys have any other questions, comments, concerns, rate this video, buy my merch link in bio, comment down below, give this a like. Let's get to 50,000 likes. What am I watching on Netflix at the moment? Hmm. I was watching comedy specials. If you guys know Chris Delia, Delia, yeah. He was also a Viner. I don't know, I'm sure you guys have seen him before. Like, if you saw a picture, it'd be like, okay, trust. Um, there's this segment called Comedians Around the World, and there's two U.S. comedians, and he's one of them, and his stand-up is so funny. Um, I was also watching a lot of Dave Chappelle, too, on Netflix. Um, pause. I die more... <laughs> Um, what else have I been watching? What else have I been watching? Um, I love Big Mouth. If you are not over the age of, um, 16, then you should probably ask your parents about watching Big Mouth before, because it's really bad, but it's so funny. Um, favorite Disney movie? Hmm. Probably Lion King. Solid. I'm so excited for the new one. Oh my god. Um, what else have I been watching on Netflix? People are like, you should watch The Handmaid's Tale. And I'm like, ooh. Because I cry during everything. Like, everything. I think I've cried watching Big Mouth before, too, because they felt bad for somebody. I don't know. I get really invested in the characters when I'm watching a movie. And I forget that it's just a movie. And I feel like people have been saying that, like some of my like strongest friends who like never cry have been saying they watched Handmaid's Tale and like have been sobbing. So I'm like, if they're sobbing, what am I going to be like? So maybe not. Ooh, I also love Black Mirror. Black Mirror is really good. Riverdale? Yeah. I miss you so much, Carla. Please come back. Any advice for singing in a group with mean boys? You're singing in a group with mean boys? What is that? Like, how are they being, like, what's the situation? I'm confused. Hey, Jazzy, Colorado. Um, but yeah, I watched the first season of Riverdale, but I haven't seen any seasons other than that. But I like, like, it's a good show. I just haven't, like, I don't know why I haven't watched the other seasons, but it's good, though. 
こんにちは大好きも Thoughts on Johnny Depp Love Johnny Depp Great guy <laughs> Trust I feel like you should have had more time too I feel that <laughs> Imagination movers, you want to talk about it. Okay, there is a song, song, TV show on Nickelodeon called Imagination Movers, and that was my jam. Imagination movers. Oh my god, please DM me. I miss you, Carla. I love you. You want to talk about it. Everything, the situation, exists in some imagination. Thanks, Jazzy. You're the best. Jazzy Jeff. Imagination movers. I love Annie Mac. Annie Mac's like one of my favorite shows. Yes. Yes. Yes, jumpsuits and a mouse. But yeah, feel free to ask some questions and also, um, like any advice, comments, questions, concerns. My lips are so chapped, they're starting to burn. I'm too lazy to get up and get some chapstick. Struggles. Do I know Sweet California? Maybe I do. I don't know. Imagination mover. You want to talk about it. Oh, really? About Bird Box? I liked it. I loved it. It's really good. And it makes you think a lot. Like, the underlying message, like what it actually means, you know? I mean, I do that with everything. I'm like, huh. What does this mean? Like, what is the meaning behind this? Why they write this? What do they want to take away from this? It was really interesting and scary. I get scary easily. I get scary easily. I get scared easily, so... I, it was really good though. But I like being scared. It's weird. Like, I get spooked so easily, but I like being spooked. Is that weird? I don't know. Jonas Brothers. Love the Jonas Brothers. When I was five, I went to Hershey Park in Pennsylvania. I love that place. And I saw them on tour with Demi Lovato and Avril Lavigne, and it was so good. It was for my fifth birthday, or my sixth birthday. No, my my sixth, I forget, but it, I was like five or six and I saw them and I was living. It's so, they're so good. Joe was always my favorite. All of my friends loved um, Nick, but I was more of a Joe person, even though of course I love Nick and I love Kevin. So good. Love Camp Rock too. Not Camp Rock too, but like I love Camp Rock T O O, you know. Also love Camp Rock 2. Camp Rock 1, 2. Great. Have I ever visited Chicago, Illinois? No, I have not. But my dad used to work there. I'm surprised I haven't, but I really want to go. Which film would I like to act in? Any Marvel movie. Any Marvel movie. That would be the dream. My favorite animal is elephant. I have a bunch of elephants around my room. I don't think you can see them, but I do. Also, I do have the stuffed elephant that you gave me. I think it's right there. No, that's not it. But why don't I have my license? Okay, Jazzy. I, this is not even an excuse, but 
like growing up in the city, uh, no one has their license. So I didn't bother getting one because I just took mass transit, but I've been out here for like two and a half years. So it's not really an excuse anymore. It used to be, now it's not really valid because I've been out here for so long. I should probably just have gotten it, but I'm taking courses now to take my written test. So I'll get it soon and then I can drive, but I'm scared of going on the highway. So I think I'll just take like some nice streets. <laughs> Ooh, my neck cracked. Imagination movers. Hey, Haley. Do I like to travel? I love to travel. My whole life I've been traveling. Like, my parents love going on, um, like, going to places, adventuring, hiking. They're very much into that, like, type of stuff. So, I kind of grew up doing that. And it was always so much fun. So, love traveling. Are Milo and I still friends? Of course we're still friends. Duh. Someday... Someday, this gonna be. Ooh. All right, I think I'm gonna sign off. The I think I'm gonna sign off this live. <gasps> Amar, hi. Um, I think I'm gonna sign off this live because it's been a while, but great talking to y'all. Hope any of my advice helped. I don't know. Um, oh my god, hi. <laughs> um, so hopefully you guys like trust. Like, okay, bye. Love you guys. <laughs>